a dismounted infantry assault. <laughs> Soldiers from the British Army and Croatian Armed Forces, a demonstration of the interoperability between the two nations' militaries and its 30 years in the making. This year is the 30th anniversary of the diplomatic relations between Croatia and the UK. Um, you know, it's been great to see the two units working you know, hand in hand, uh, you know, side by side this morning. Uh, and that's you know, important for, for us as the UK, um, particularly against the context of what's going on in Europe at the moment, um, that you've got two NATO allies working together, showing that they are genuinely interoperable, uh, showing the closeness of the two sides. 156 Regiment RLC, a reservist unit based in the northwest of England, are here in Croatia, pushing themselves and their new international colleagues on Exercise Sava Star 2022. This is what it's all about. Reservists from the UK working hand in hand with a regular infantry unit from Croatia, strengthening the bond and the friendships between the two militaries. Charlie, 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 this is Alpha, message over. As well as the sharing of tactics and standard operating procedures, SOPs, the reservists of 156 Regiment are using the deployment to tick off the boxes in their annual service requirements. Lessons include field craft, section attacks, mounted and dismounted assaults, all hand in hand with their Croatian colleagues. Uh, this is the, uh, the ninth iteration of a well-established international overseas uh, field training exercise uh, which sees around about a hundred soldiers uh, deployed working with the Croatian military uh, using a uh, light roll or in this case uh, mechanized infantry construct uh, to enable joint training uh, and mutual understanding. The culmination of the fortnight's worth of training comes with a demonstration in front of both British and Croatian delegates. The soldiers from 156 Regiment a quarter of whom are women, are attacking a simulated enemy alongside the exclusively male Falcons Battalion, part of the mechanised guards brigade of the Croatian Armed Forces. And the reservists are impressing. Go. Well, I've been uh, really amazed and impressed of the uh, capabilities of the uh, 156 Regiment Royal Logistic Corps. Uh, we've conducted several uh, foot patrols, also convoy operations, and all in all, uh, I can say that uh, I am I'm amazed because we saw how the British colleagues conduct their own procedures, but also we showed how we conduct our own uh, procedures, so we had a, a great experience and uh, uh, a good tactic insight. But how have the Brits found working with the Croatians? Really approachable, really friendly, really keen to learn and integrate with our troops. Um, our skills and drills are quite different, so it's been really good for them to show us what they're doing and then we sort of show them how we do it and we discuss the differences and why these things might be different. Um, the troops have really enjoyed getting to know them uh, and, yeah, we've had a great time. Last night we, um, we learned how to use the uh, night vision uh, goggles, uh, the, the sort of MVG systems. What I've found is that they cover a, a large amount of ground and they do things slightly differently. Uh, they might have a couple of teams sort of sprouting up in different directions, but in a sense they do sort of have some similarities. With the ground assault complete and the wraparound training achieved, the reservists of 156 Regiment are homeward bound, with memories of a challenging deployment and the respect of regular soldiers from an infantry battalion of the Croatian Army. James Wharton, Forces News, Croatia. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.